Welcome back to Fallout Form. My name is Ricky and this is Corvo. This is a challenge run where we are not taking any perks. Last week we started helping the Brotherhood build their stupid giant robot. And I said this week we'd be doing the Battle of Bunker Hill. But in fact, change of plans. We're actually going to take a bit of a hiatus from doing anything for anybody else. And we're going to do a bunch of stuff to get Nick Valentine's affinity way up. Because I kind of forgot I wanted to do this. And I remembered it and I went, well, I can't do anything more for the Brotherhood with Nick. So here we are. The first thing we're going to do is summon Nick Valentine's detective cases. Earl Sterling used to work here. Gone just like that. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? Yes. I uh, forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here. Thank you. you. Find out what happened. Where did Nick go? Oh, there he is. Nick, come on. We're going into Earl Sterling's house. So, right here is what I'm looking for. Surgery receipt. Mega Surgery Center, Reconstructive Surgery. So, before I forget and we get over there, I installed a mod called Visual companion affinity it tells me all of the companions that i have access to right now where their affinity is at all times nick currently has 25 well 250 uh, affinity and we got to get him to 750 but when it pops up on the screen at the top it's going to say it as a percentage so it says 25 percent right now you doctor i oh, see God. the blood if you're here to be examined let's get you examined do you know anything about this receipt let me see hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane, low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Yeah, I don't think so. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. I need the key. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? No, you it looks like a really doctor. crappy doctor's office. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, doctor. And I mean, there's a line of blood. Trail, leads to your basement. trail of blood, person. I guess. would be a better way to put that. You're talking about Earl, aren't yes. you? Yes. You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest, here. I mean, there's blood here. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. I mean, how do you not see this? Earl, you've, you've really been a handful. Front row. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake you is cut off his legs correct. and his arm well, and his head. Naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here. Take it easy, Doc. Let's talk about Earl. You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Drop the weapon, Doc. Haven't enough people suffered today? You're... You're right. There's one thing I can do. No, no, don't. No, Doc Crocker, no. Now who will mess up my face? Is that Dr. Looks Crocker? like it'll be a closed casket funeral. Really, Corvo? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Take a look around for yourself. You'll figure it out. That's... Earl Stewart, there you go. Isn't Put it together. Well, it's over. That's that. It's over. Ah! The most well-respected <laughs> surgeon in Diamond ah. City is dead. Would you rather me tell you it wasn't your fault? Pieces, and all you have to say is, it's over? Yes. I guess it is. Did I give Sheffield a nuka cola? You okay? So thirsty. No, I did not. Here, Sheffield, have a nuka cola. Hey, Sheffield. Nuka cola. Here you go. Common decency. What a pleasant change. I know, Nick. Oh, thank you. I genuinely don't know if we're going to get Nick up to 750 today or 75%. And if we don't, I'll try and get it done next week. I'll find some stuff to do for next week. So I came here to convince Mama Murphy to get off drugs, but I think I maybe want to convince Trash Can Carla to not let her cows on the friggin' roof of the house. Just going out on a limb. Really? Just... Really? There's going to be cows in this conversation, I'm just telling you. So you know what? No, I can't deal with the cows. I can't deal with the cows. I'm sleeping to get her to leave. Carla's stupid cows are still on the roof. Unfortunately, I have to talk to her. I need you to get off the Kims. No, you're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again, kid. Listen to me. I'm old, even older than you'd think. If the Kims are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a 
good run. No! The site isn't worth killing yourself over, Norman Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. Yeah! All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging Four, two around likes. a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go queen. Nick. Did you like that? That was pretty cool, right? Okay. Let's go do more stuff. So, there's a couple things we're going to do at Bunker Hill. But the first thing is we're going to turn in the quest we did for Deb that I have yet to turn in. I cleared the training yard of ferals. You know, Kessler's been really looking for someone competent. Like if you're looking for more work... I will talk to her. I'm half tempted to join the railroad with all this shit. Hello. You, talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. It's always good to help. I have no problem helping. Uh -huh. All I do here is there we go. Care of okay, I gotta like get of that. Fans go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the institute. And why not save sense? So here's the thing: if I say saving sense is noble. That's apparently something that Nick Valentine hates because apparently as a synth, he doesn't want to save his own kind. I got my like from that, which was actually quite a bit of like, to be honest with you. I didn't realize it was going to be so high. Got to find Deb now and get her, not Deb, Kessler and get her quest. She's not in here. So Deb's been talking you up. Says you get results. I do. I got a sensitive job that needs someone with skills. Our town works because everyone knows we got the Raider angle covered. The gangs get paid off and leave our caravans alone. But Zeller's army is getting greedy, asking for more caps. And after we pay them, the bastards still hit our people. But I found out the army's holed up in an old prep school. The job's simple. Deal with them. But above all, you're just a freelancer working for yourself. Never even heard of us on the hill, right? Right, okay. So, now we're gonna go free some people from the prep school, because I guess Nick likes that, too. Here we are. Purified water ahead. No. Just to be clear, not purified water. Nick, get over here. Traders, welcome! No. I'm sorry, this is actually something Nick loves, not likes. I hear someone. Combat positions. Shut up! Raiders, I'm here to kill you. Hello? Raiders, I'm not being stealthy. I'm just shooting to kill. I'm literally just shooting to kill at this point. Alright, well. Wow, this Raider Waster is way tougher than I expected her to be. And... Okay. Maybe you should have covered him more. Okay, now I'm being overwhelmed. Nick! Where is Nick Valentine? Nick, I'm being overwhelmed. Oh, crap. Reload, hurry! Could you guys not have pipe auto weapons, please? Thank you. Oh, we'll snoop him out, will we, Nikki? Nick, I don't know where you are, but I'm being overwhelmed. Oh, hey, I found Zeller. I'm just completely missing at this point, so we're just going to come right down here. But he has a triple barrel handmade shotgun. I have crippled his head. This is all good news. Hey, I don't like it when you use stim packs, okay? Okay, well, I killed Zeller. But there's still more people to kill slash liberate. Oh, hey, there's Nick. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. My chest needs to get repaired. That never happens. Somewhere in here is the key to these things. I think this is the key. Okay, let's see. Yes. I couldn't take much more of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Kessler send you? 
No, Kessler did not send me. Officially, Kessler did not send me. I would love to. But I actually need to unlock your door first. Valentine loved that. There we go. All right. Valentine's affinity did not go up as much as I would like. One of the prisoners told me what they went through at the prep school. I had no idea. And you did that by yourself, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, definitely by myself. Because hey. Nick Valentine wasn't helpful. So we leveled up. And here's the thing. We got 10 in everything except luck. So now, we're going to start getting our critical going up a little bit faster. Yay. So I came to the castle because we're going to go find a kid in a fridge. Apparently, Nick Valentine loves saving little kids stuck in fridges. And his affinity just randomly went up. It didn't tell me that Nick liked it or anything. Just It just went up. I guess, randomly, you gain affinity? I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. Hi, Raiders. Ow. Thanks, Nick. I think Nick took a, a bit of that. Did I? Look, it was either fight you guys or fight the... Uh... Honestly, it was fight you guys or fight the Mirelurks. And you guys don't spit acid. So... Now, where are you, legendary raider? You better... Crap. You better be worth it. Okay, I can't. I can't hit him. Thanks, Nick. Well, I thought Nick was hitting him, but... Now I'm not sure. Oh, come on! No! 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 I mean, it's hurting all, but no! Fight Nick! Fight Nick! Yes! No, Nick! Holy crap! But this kid in a fridge thing is supposed to be real good for Nick Valentine. Like, let me out! My legs are so stiff. Ah, uh, it's a cool kid. I'm just kidding. I knew it was a cool kid. For a really long time. Just want to go home. I want to find my mom and dad. All right, let's take you home. Keep up, pal. We got an adventure. Woohoo! Thanks. I got Nick Valentine to admire me. I used to. Hey, Valentine. I think we ought to talk. Yeah, we should. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. Gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. So who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long Bullet, time. Bullet, you can just wait a second, okay? Ah! No, <laughs> Institute Handiwork. But I'm still mechanical. Not bio-engineered like a family sense, giving everyone the willies these days. <laughs> I get tune-ups now oh, instead yeah, of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids... They weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Yes, we should. I gotta talk to Bullet here. <laughs> Cute kid. Is he for sale? Um, uh, no? What? Never. Yeah! Your loss. You change your mind, bring him to my camp. Okay. Bye, Bullet. Normally, I'd just kill Bullet at this point. But apparently there's another bit of liking I can get. Yes, we are giving the Mirelurks a wide berth. Yeah. Billy! Okay, random spawn point. 
has hostile brotherhood soldiers. Okay. Well, let's avoid that. But the Brotherhood isn't hostile to me, so I'm not sure. I know you can have Nick Valentine as a companion and work with the Brotherhood. I don't know. Hello? Mom? Dad? Are you in there? Billy? Billy? Son? Is that really you? It's me. Thank you for bringing you us there, back. You there, in the house. I want those ghouls, especially that kid. You can give him a peaceful life, or die trying to save him. Die. The man that tried to buy me. Oh my God! They want Billy. They want all of you, Davis actually. Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. Huh? The house is empty. Looks like they left in a hurry. God damn it! All right, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't know I could do Shh. that. Everybody, be quiet. Bye! So chalk that up to another quest you can end peacefully with charisma. I'm tired of people saying that it doesn't exist in the game. It absolutely does. Thank you for bringing us back our little boy. And saving us from that man. You're welcome. Take this. I wish I had more to give you, but we don't have much. That's fine. No, that's cool. So I've been at this for about an hour now, and we've gotten Nick Valentine to over 500 affinity, so that's pretty good. We only have about 200 or so left to go before we can actually do his quest properly. Hopefully that will be next week. This has been Fallout 4. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Fallout 4.